Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, and today we will be reviewing Transformers Cyberverse Scout Class Starstream. Before we show off Starscream himself, we're going to look at the figure itself. Some nice artwork of good old Starscream from Cyberverse. The wind, wind slash gimmick he has. Other figures in the line, we own most of them except for Grimlock. So we are still missing quite a few in this line. That's all there is to say. For the packaging, let's look at Screamer himself, and he looks pretty cool. He does get a Gerwalk mode, so he can go Gerwalk, like Robotech Gerwalk. Do, 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 pew, pew, bang, bang. Doesn't this kind of rip off that old uh, anime series stuff of Robotech when the jet fighter did this and then turned into the robot? Yeah. Kind of get that that's a thing with Cyberverse. They're doing that now. Why not? But the wing slash gimmick is very simple to do. Like I was just doing it. See? And a wing popped off. Oh, man. These wings like to pop off, don't they? Now I gotta locate the wing where it flew off to. Flew off the wing. wing popped off. Give me a second to locate it. I might have to turn on my trusty flashlight to find that. Went on and then locate it. bit longer than I thought it would. Let me pop loose and you're concerned about finding a piece that went flying. Aha! There you are. Sneaky little wing coming off on me and then flying off. But yeah, my wings on my copy are very loose and they pop loose during the gimmick. That's why I don't like this gimmick so very much. Because of the wings, like, have a thing for popping off when you use the gimmick. See? So there's the wing slash gimmick. But now we're going to put his legs down like I had them and we're going to get down to actual... Comparisons with another star scream in his jet mode. The only one I'm going to bother putting in his jet mode is his Cyberverse continuity one that's more better looking compared to this one. I'm not going to transform the Spark Armor, but I'm going to transform the original one from the first wave because they are the exact same figure as one another, the exact same mold. As the saying goes. But here we got Scout Class Screamer next to the original Star Scream. Why not? And now we're going to transform him and get down to some robot mode comparisons here. As you know, I like to do a lot of comparisons. And that's the most important thing we do on this channel. Is comparisons, and then we'll give a good old bio about Starscream from Cyberverse. So transforming them is very simple. Rotate the legs down like so. Disconnect the arms. Fold them out. Second verse, just like the first. Rotate the section down. Reveal on the robot head. I like to disconnect these wings and put the wings in the proper position because when I put them, transform it this way, it just doesn't work. 
So that's why I popped the wings off. Made it easier to put this guy in his robot mode. And voila! There we got ourselves Cyberverse Starscream, another version of Starscream. Hello, YouTube land. It is I, Air Commander Starscream. <laughs> but yeah, in the G1 and the Beast Wars, he was Air Commander Starscream. So yeah. So let's get him stand in. Can I get him to stand? Good. Now for some other comparisons. Here we got Cyberverse Deluxe Class Starscream. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And of course, Spark Armor Starscream, which is a little bit bigger than Scout Class, but not as big as Deluxe Class here. And you're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? Well, I got this figure from, I think, eBay. For, I think, about seven bucks, and it's worth the money to add to my collection? Yes. Now, for the most important part, I haven't done in a while, is a bio. And Starscream in the Cyberverse cartoon, he was always obeying Megatron until Megatron betrayed him, and then he came vengeful and created a bunch of mini... Scraplets to kill all the Autobots and the Decepticons. So Starscream went mad with power. That's Starscream for ya. So yeah, even killed his fellow Seekers. Now that's messed up when it comes to Starscream being messed up. Killing his own Seekers? I thought he would have kept them around or found a way to make them loyal to his side. But yeah, Starscream went power-hungry mad in the cartoon, and that's the bio about Starscream. He is the air commander of the Decepticon Seekers. That's all there is to say for this review. If you liked this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.